Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial in Design Spark Mechanical, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to import PNG files that you can use to actually create a, a graphic. Okay, first thing you want to do is go to File, Create New, New Design. Uh, this is going to be in inches, so you want to change this to Plan View. Uh, then to import the PNG file or a JPEG file or any type of image file, you want to come up here to File. You want to click that. You want to go ahead and change this file types down here. You have an OBJ file. You have a point curve text file. You have a SketchUp uh, file. You have a step file. You have an STL file. You have all video file formats and then all files. So what you'd want to do is come up here to image files. Image files is going to include a BMP, a GIF, a JPEG, uh, a PX, PCX, a PNG, a TIFF, or a TIFF file. So you would click there. And then for instance, this is a PNG file. Or it's, this is a JPEG. But if you wanted to import a PNG, you would you'd be able to open it with this. So just double click and then you put the uh, graphic where you need it. Um, so that would basically work for any kind of any JPEG or any, any image file format. Now if you want to actually use the file in Design Spark Mechanical, you have to import uh, steep or step. So you'd have to import either a STL file, which I can show you on something I just created, this Boazande knife. So you would be able, this is an STL file. As you can see when I hover over it, it says STL. Um, you would have to actually import an STL if you want to actually do something to it. And it comes in as a 3D object. Um, or you would have to go to file and then you would have to uh, import a, uh, a step file. Um, I don't have any step files. Step file would be like something you would have created in uh, SolidWorks. But if you don't have SolidWorks, you can create uh, a steep step file in um, CorelDRAW. I'll give you an example here. You can just go to File, Create New, New 8.5 by 11. You can just do some basic text. Um, let's just say uh, step file. So if you wanted to bring this into Corel to uh, Design Spark Mechanical, you'd go ahead and uh, come up here to Objects. You would convert to Curves. Then with this file selected, you come up here, or the text selected, you come up here and say Export. You would export to an, S from, to an SVG scalable graphic. And then you would export that and then you would have to open it up in a program like FreeCAD. This is free so you can go to their website and download. Then you'd have to open it up in here, create a new document, and then drag your uh, your te text in there. Then when the text comes in you'd have to say select all, control A on the keyboard, and then you have to export. You'd have to export as a step file. You could just say test desktop, save, then you'd come in here to um, Design Spark Mechanical. This is just going to be text, so then you'd go up to File, and you would go ahead and go to your desktop, change your file types down to Step, and then you would import the Step, click OK to this message, uh, then you would uh, select everything. Let's pan over. You'd have to select everything, all your text, come up here to fill, and then you, that would create a solid for you. And then you would be able to uh, pull the file from that point on. So come up here, go over here to pull, and then you'd be able to create your file. Minus off that, of course. Okay. So if you want to use the file in uh, Design Spark Mechanical, it has to be a STEP, a step file, or it has to be a STL file. 
if you want to trace something, uh, then you can use go to your file import. It just has to be um, any one of these image file types right here that I'm hovering over, which it could be a, a BMP, a GIF, a JPEG, uh, a PNG, or TIFF. Any one of those uh, will come into Design Spark Mechanical, but once you bring it in, uh, you're not going to be able to really do anything to it. You just have to trace it. So it's basically going to be this is just an example here, but you're just going to go to file. You're going to come down here to your file types. You're going to change to image files. Then you're going to double click on your JPEG and pull that one in. Or you go to file types, go to one of your folders, um, and then you would click on your graphic and then you would import it in. So the only thing you're going to be able to do with this file is to use it as a reference for tracing. So um, that's how you would import files. And as far as exporting files, uh, Design Sparks Mechanical is fairly limited. Uh, and we can go ahead and I'll show you that. We open up uh, the Boazande knife that I just created. Okay, this is the 3D format here. The only export options uh, that uh, Design Spark has is a save as, and then you have um, basically. Uh, oh, if you wanted to do that, this, I, I'm 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 creating this video because a, a subscriber actually had left a comment about exporting uh, the graphics. So okay, if you wanted to export this out as a picture, I think that's might have been what he was. Uh, uh, talking about here you basically would just come up here you'd say save as and then you're going to change the file types down here you have a PNG which is a picture JPEG is a picture um, STL is a 3d format a SketchUp is a 3d format PDF is a is a kind of a picture and then OBJ is three-dimensional um, AutoCAD is two-dimensional, and then Design Spark. So if you wanted to export it as a PNG, you just, um, I'll go over this again. You just open the file up, you come up to File, Save As, Change File Type. So you click once, and then you go down to PNG, and then you pick your uh, your size here. I just go with the default. Then you go ahead and specify Desktop, save it and now what you have a uh, you should have your PNG on the desktop here let's go ahead and move this out of the way maybe it saved it in the folder um, PNG okay so it did save it here it is so basically this is what you're gonna get if you want to uh, export it from from Design Sparks Mechanical uh, I can't really do anything with it other than look at it, print it. Uh, I guess you could use this and trace it in another program. Okay, well, hopefully that was helpful. Um, some of the other options you have for save as are in the save save options. You have save, save as, and then uh, save as options. You have uh, the file formats I was telling you about. Design Spark Mechanicals, native file. You have an AMF, you have AutoCAD, that's if you want to bring it into AutoCAD. Then you have a, um, a GLTF file, I never use those. You have an object file, if you wanted to actually save that model and bring it into a printer, uh, you could be able to do that. You have um, a PDF, you have a SketchUp, you could bring the file into SketchUp. You have an STL, which is a native uh, 3D format for most printers, most all printers understand STL. Then you have a JPEG and a PNG. So the JPEG, you know, is a uh, is a compressed graphic format for pictures, and PNG is pretty much the same, but not as compressed. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. That's going to end today's tutorial, um, and hopefully you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of this. Thanks again for watching.